Congratulations on becoming a father. At Dad's Uni, we believe that every man has the potential within them to become a wonderful father to his children. Dad's Uni aims to provide practical biblical training to help young men in growing their families God's way. We hope you find these simple teachings to be both encouraging and informative. Remember, if you enjoy our teachings, please subscribe and like our podcasts and share them with someone else who also might benefit. Don't forget to check out our free ebooks and blogs on our dadsuni.com website. God bless. John Nolan. Dad's Uni. Tip 48. Developing the Father's Heart. All that we do upon this earth, especially those things that relate to our role as a father, should reflect what our Heavenly Father does in heaven. It is comforting to know that we are not limited to merely our own natural wisdom when it comes to fathering our children, but have access to the divine wisdom of God. When Jesus was walking the earth, he came with a tremendous revelation. This knowledge completely changed the way mankind would understand God. Before Jesus Christ came, God was seen as a lawgiver and judge, and people responded accordingly by attempting to keep all the rules and regulations given. Unfortunately, man in his natural state was never able to keep the law of God and was ultimately destined for failure in his attempts. God allowed men to try and graciously overlooked their failings, as he was really teaching them an important and life-changing lesson. The lesson was that man must live by faith in God, and not by a religious observance of rites or religious rules. In this revelation, Christianity was to stand separately from the religious world, as it revealed that true biblical Christianity was not a religion, but a very real personal relationship with God. When Jesus Christ taught us that God was our Father in heaven, and loved us dearly as his children, the religious world was turned on its head. Jesus revealed that God was not some lifeless idol or mythical representation made up by man, but that he was the living God who hears prayer and answers. He showed us that God is aware of even our smallest need, and desires for all men to come to him, believing in his care and provision. We as fathers on the earth develop the Father's heart through getting to know him more, and by allowing his Holy Spirit access in our hearts to transform us each day more and more into the image of his Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the physical representation of God on this earth, and it is through him that we have access to all the wisdom and mercy of heaven. There are many times in life and in our interpersonal relationships when we will need to draw upon the wisdom of God, which can be found in the scriptures of the Bible, and they are a sure and steady foundation to build our lives upon. However, a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ also opens up the wonderful possibility of being able to receive answers in prayer and being able to hear from God personally as to how to apply those scriptures in our particular circumstances. The closer we can get to our Heavenly Father, the more wisdom and grace we will have to overcome every obstacle we face in life, and ultimately, a wonderful entrance into heaven for ourselves and all whom we are able to lead there. Suggested Action Begin to read the Bible daily, and to seek Him who wrote it for us. Ask for His wisdom and love to flow into your heart. Scripture References James chapter 1 verses 5 to 8 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, he is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Father's Testimony I have learned over the years that children spell the word love like this T-I-M-E. And by that, I mean quality time spent with them playing, entering into their imaginary world, to get down on the floor and be fully present with them. Patrick, Quebec, Canada